howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show off my latest DIY build. This is a shamisen or shamisen or shamisen. I've heard of several different pronunciations. I'm not sure which one is correct, but it's a Japanese loot. Um, and this was a DIY kit that I got. And I'm telling you the story about that in just a second. I will put uh, bookmarks in the timeline if you want to skip around. But um, I sold some gear recently, locally, and um, went to drop off the stuff to this fella. You know, I, I threw in a couple extra things when I got there and I said, hey, here you go, throw this in for no charge. And he was like, oh, that's awesome. Um, here, you can have this. And he gave me this shamisen kit that he had got from Japan. Included with the kit was this receipt for 5,963 yen. And if you're saying, what the heck is going on there? I had it on the workbench and I accidentally spilled stain on it. And then it had the original instructions, which let me show you this here. They are completely in Japanese. And on the back, we've got some playing notes and chord charts and stuff, but I, I don't know how to read any of this. Uh, but anyway, that's the instructions. It was pretty self-explanatory. It also came with a set of strings here. So I did a little quick bit of research on it and found out there are several different tunings. I found out that there's several different ways to play it. But um, the other thing I found out is that if you look at most traditional ones, they're usually made from different woods for the neck and tuners and all that. So, I, so this is all one wood. And by the way, when I got it, it had some sort of like uh, a sealer on it and I didn't like that. So I sanded everything down and then decided to stain stuff. And I stained the neck. This sort of reddish stain is actually called gunstock. And then I stained the uh, the tuners and the tailpiece, this darker stain, it's called Jocko Bean. And then on the sort of drum part here, I used this stain called Golden Oak. And I'm really happy with the way it looks after it's all put together. Now, if you've seen a lot of my videos, you know I have a habit of putting stars on the headstock, so I didn't want to disappoint there. And then on the back side of the headstock, I burned in 224 for February of 2024 and then i sealed it with a spray varnish so those are now part of the finish but i really like the way that it that it looks now you might be noticing what is with that huge hole in the back well maybe you can just kind of see there's a jack in there because i figured as long as i was putting this thing together i might as well put a piezo pickup in there so maybe you can just kind of see there's a piezo pickup and jack in there so i can actually plug it in now, when I went to tune this baby up, the previous owner, I don't know if it's the fellow that I got it from or maybe somebody before him, I'm not 100% sure, but it tied knots in these strings uh, to catch the tailpiece. Well, I wanted to do them in kind of a, a traditional sort of uh, loop like that. So I did that, but then what happened is it made it so it didn't quite fit like it was supposed to up here. The normal way to tune a shamisen is you put the lowest string up here to the longest, you put the highest string to the middle, and then you put the middle string to the lowest tuner here, or the closest tuner to the bridge. Well, mine was just, the, the strings were just a little bit too short to do that. In any case, um, the traditional way to play it is you use this sort of tool that looks almost like an ice scraper as a pick, and you sort of hold it in your palm here, and then you use a little hook to kind of catch the string. Uh, three main tunings, there's more than that, of course, but there's three main tunings, and one of them is just root, fifth, octave, and it's a little loud, I need to tune it up again, but uh, root, fifth, octave, which makes it very similar to a cigar box guitar. On these holes were already cut in the drum for the neck to go through, but when you put it on, it was very crooked. The neck was extremely, or the body was extremely crooked to the neck, and I was like, that's gonna be really hard to play. So what I did is I created some little wood shims that I put in here to help straighten that out. And I really kind of had to force it in there. It's not coming apart now, but um, that helped get it fairly, fairly flat. So it's actually got a halfway decent action. Now I just put it together with the parts that are there and the bridge is actually a pretty good height, but the nut is way too tall. So I'm gonna have to take it back down and uh, file that nut down a bit to get the action a little lower. Um, I guess the next thing that I wanna do is demo the sound for you. Again, I have never played this type of instrument before, but it'll give you an idea of what it sounds like. Okay, so due to the fact that I am dealing with both friction tuners and new strings, this thing wants to go out of tune really quick. So I'm sure it's probably gonna go out of tune while I'm playing on it, but Here's the idea, if you strum it open, you've got a power chord or a fifth chord. 
And um, by the way, uh, it didn't come with any position markers, but I measured the scale and then kind of just figured out where the harmonics are to give me a, a starting point. I just did that with a paint pin, so I can obviously go back and finish that more later, but you can hear the harmonics. Now, of course, you could play it with a slide as well, like you'd play something like a cigar box guitar. Now, of course, it's not gonna sound very Eastern when you play it in that style, but you it might be kind of cool you get something like this. It's like the blues on a Japanese instrument. It's kind of funny. Okay, so I got it plugged into one of my little homemade amps here. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Oh, yeah. We definitely hear it. there you have it folks that's how I built this here shamisen kit that I came across normally I would tell you where to get one but I don't know where to get one because I just got this one off I did look on eBay and Amazon and there are some shamisen kits out there that you can buy most of them have a metal body instead of this wooden drum uh so you know I don't know exactly where this one came from other than he said that he got it in Japan if you like what I do on this channel I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button for me and if you like this video give it a thumbs up I will see you guys soon.